Well, hello loves and happy Friday to you. Today I'm popping in to uh, do some projects with you or a project with you and show you the new stencils in the shop and have some fun creating. Um, I'm going to be doing three videos, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday Inspiration with all the new stencils and we're just gonna play. Oh, wait till you see the projects. So uh, let's just dive right in and get to it. Um, I've got uh, four of the butterfly stencils. So I've got this design in um, 12 by 12 or um, 8 by 10. And same with this design. Um, these have been in the shop for a couple weeks. I was inspired by one of the creative team members um, posts. She um, did a butterfly and I thought, oh, I like it. So um, I actually created those a couple weeks ago and we're doing the project today with that butterfly stencil. So um, next up, <clears throat> let me set this over here. Um, next up are the flower mask stencils. You guys, I am in love, in love. Okay, so the flower mask stencils come in either 12 by 16, which is very big, which I know not a lot of you might use, but they also come in 8 by 10s. And I'm going to show you. So this is the 12 by 16, the largest of that. They're, they come in twos. And I'm going to show you real quick. Here's okay. So this is an 8 by 10. This is the outline of it. This comes with your stencil, and then you um, get the mask that goes with it. Um, but I, I always include the out outer edge of any of the masks when we send them um, so that you can you can use them like I could see spraying this and just having this as a silhouette or spraying this a color and then coming back over and putting in the lines. Um, lots of different options that way. So it's um, 8 by 10 or let me just show you the 12 by um, 16 size. And then let me just show you real quick. <clears throat> so look at how absolutely, let me pull this back out. Absolutely adorable these are. Oh my gosh. So these are the 8 by 10 ones, um, different sizes. This is the 8 by 10s. There's three of them. And then just real quickly, as an example, I don't think you can see that. This is the large. And oh my goodness. Wait till you see what we're going to create with that. These are fantastic and they are perfect for stamping, perfect for jelly printing. Um, so many different ways that you can use these. But that, look at that. These are the largest of the uh, flower masks in the 12 by 16. So um, we've got those. And then let's start. So that's the flowers and look at how this is how I just did a quick spray just you know laid some vintage paper down put my mask on and sprayed it look at how gorgeous that is I could see this in so many different applications so flower mask stencils um, and I did a lot of patterns I did the flowers and then a lot of patterns I am digging my pattern play here so um, these are called Graphics 1 and Graphics 2, and they're basically a mask as well. Um, but I, I did some, I, um, I stamped, I sprayed it, and then I stamped it, and um, I just love the option. So this one's sprayed. Look at the different colors. And what I like about this stencil is you can use just a bit of or piece of it, both of them. Um, the pattern in both of them is fantastic. So you could just use just a tiny bit. So there's just all kinds of options. And so like I stamped with this one, look at how cool that looks. Um, oh yeah, so many options with these two stencils. And this is the Graphics 1 and Graphics 2 stencil. Okay. And then this is the which one is this? Inroads. This is called Inroads, and it comes in a six by six or an eight by ten, and six by six or eight by ten. I did a, a lot of six by sixes this time around, six by six or eight by ten. And let me just show you 
what I did with, you know, just these were super quick. They did, this didn't take me much time at all. And I'm, I'm using tissue paper. So this was a stamp of this. So I sprayed different colors like gold, black, and teal. And I got this and then I stamped with it. Look at how cool that is. This could be so, kind of gives me kind of a leaf pattern. It could be roads. It could be so many many things and so that comes in six by six and eight by ten then the next one is oh that i love this one letting go this is letting go mask look at how fun this is oh my goodness so um, i love using it like this and i love stamping with it i've already used the paper that i i had um, but look at how cool this looks um, so this is just quickly sprayed. This is an eight by 10 mask that has this really nice border around it. So, um, I like that design. Okay. Next up is the, um, living and growing one. So this stencil is so cute. I can't wait. Um, I've used it just a little bit, but look at how cute that is. So this is six by six and it also comes in a 12 by 12. You should see the 12 by 12 pattern. But I, I, um, I actually put this down and then rolled over it with a roller and paint. And I got, look at how cool that looks. And then I stamped with it. I love that. Um, so that's living and growing one. So that comes in six by six and 12 by 12. This is living and growing two. Um, this has like a leaf pattern to it. Let me just show you leaf pattern. So cool, really cool to stamp with. <clears throat> and then this was kind of just a stamp, regular stamping session. This was, um, this, this, I, I, um, I didn't spray this one. I stenciled it like with a, a makeup brush. This one I sprayed super cool pattern though. Just positively look at how great that is. So living and growing too. And then of course I had to have some numbers. I was, I really wanted some big, bold graphic numbers. And so, um, that's what I did. And again, stamping with it. Look at how cool this is. Look at how, oh, I can't wait to use these. I've already used several pages of the numbers, um, in different random projects. So that is, um, this is called numbers grande. Yummy. Um, and then I, I did a retro, um, kind of bit and I couldn't decide what to call them. I almost called them groovy. Um, so this is retro pattern one. Look at how fun that is. And again, I did, I sprayed a little gold and some magenta and then stamped this. This is the spray of it. Look at how cool. What a great pattern. Mm, mm, mm. So that is the retro pattern, uh, retro pattern. Oh, this is retro pattern four. <laughs> retro pattern one. This is retro pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, retro pattern one. Look at how that's, this kind of like groovy. Um, these were, these were from like seventies fabric patterns. It was awesome. So I have that retro pattern, um, in a six by six and an eight by 10. And I stamped with it and the, I've used this one. This will, this will be a great one. I've used this one in a couple of projects as well, but how fun is that? And then retro pattern two, this one <clears throat> I love. I have a six, it's in a six by six and an <clears throat> eight by 10, excuse me. And look at how fun this is. Let me, let me bring this over here so you can, uh, again, gold. Look at how cool that is. So, so pretty. And then stamping with it as well. Do I have the stamped one? I think I used it actually. I've used them. Uh, so I, I just positively love them. This one, oh, this one is such a good one. I love them all. But um, you can see how I stamped with it. <clears throat> I stamped with it. I stamped with this one too. And I got some of the background as well, but I'm okay with it. Look at, look at how cool this is stamped. This is the, I have an eight by 10 and a six by six of this one. 
So let me just show you. Um, so this is um, Retro Pattern 3. But I positively love this. There are so many options, so many options. This one I went to, I went crazy on because I loved it. I, I guess I love them all. I mean, really. So <clears throat> this one is Retro Pattern 5. And um, it uh, kind of has a tile feel to it, but it's real bohemian almost. Um, but if you get it in the right colors, it's super retro. But, um, and so that's 8 by 10 and 6 by 6. But look at, so this is just gold. Look at how, look at how gorgeous that is. Um, that was just like a stamp off of extra paint. So I put down gold and then I stamped with teal. I kind of went, I kind of went crazy on this one. I got a lot going on in this one. Can't really tell too much, but again, this is a stamp off and look at how cool that is. Neat. I can't wait. Can't wait to play. Um, so that's Retro Pattern 5, and then this one is Sparkle. And, uh, this is a, just a really fun pattern. Again, I have it in a 6x6 and a 8x10. Look how fun that is. But look at what, look at how cool the pattern is. And when you stamp with it, mm -hmm. So that's really, look at how cool that is. But here's the stamped image of it. I love that. And again, all of these, um, I, I made all of the stencils to be used as a regular stencil or mask to be, to stamp with them and to, for jelly plate printing. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a whole nother video, a whole nother time, um, uh, because there's so many ideas that I have, but it's kind of a bronze color. But, uh, so, that is the sparkle in 8x10 and 6x6. And that is it. I did, I'm doing smaller batches of stencils um, and maybe doing more releases throughout the year, but smaller batches when we release from here forward, hopefully. I get carried away because I, I love the designing part of creating the stencils. So let me show you really quickly. Set that back there. So um, pull this over. So Sunday, ins <clears throat> Sunday Inspiration is um, three of these. And these are the flower masks. Let me find the other one. What did I do with it? Okay, so I did a series or a triptych of these three, open-hearted, open-minded, open-handed. Mm. Um, so that is Sunday Inspiration. And of course I used a ton. You can see some of, some of the stencil pattern in the background there. That'll be Sunday. Um, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, we'll, we're going to create abstractly. And um, I have some really great, really great um, new ways and new ideas to kind of um, get some pattern for some abstract. And I'm going to show you that on Saturday, tomorrow, um, along with the use of the stencils. Oh, so good. Um, and then today, set this over here. Today we're creating with the butterfly and some stencils. And this is just kind of a quick mock-up of my idea. Um, I want to take it a little bit further. Of course, this has not, not a whole lot of background. So there's so many ways we can take this. Um, so we're going to be playing with the butterfly stencil and I don't know if it'll be this pattern or another pattern or maybe we'll do two, you never know. Um, but I'm going to create with that and some stencils and really kind of play and have fun. So um, I will kind of explain what I'm doing throughout the video. Either I'll pop in and talk or I'll th throw in some captions or something like that. But um, I wanted to show you all the stencils. I hope you can check them out. Head on over to the shop. I'll have the link down below. Um, but stick around for the projects that are coming today, tomorrow, and um, uh, Sunday. So uh, with that, let's get creating. All right, so I'm going to kind of walk you through real quick um, what I'm going to be creating here. So this is my inspiration. 
And of course, I'm going to jazz it up a little bit to use some stencils. Um, but I have an, a 12 by 12 MDF board down here and I have put gesso down. I'm going to use some Lucas Beige and Lucas um, Raw Umber to kind of do a quick wash over the surface here. And then I'm going to reverse stencil to get some pattern. Then my plan is to um, spray paint this. That's why I've got some paper down. Spray paint this and stamp with it over that. And then I will, that's my background. I'll probably do a wash over that and kind of push it back a little bit. Then I will put my butterfly down and use some spray paint and another stencil to get my lovely, lovely pattern. And where it goes from there, I have no idea. But that is the direction of where we're going. So let's get creating.
right, my loves, we are just about done. I'm putting the last little bit on here. I have printed out my word, and I'm going to actually put it right in here very carefully. I haven't sprayed this with a fixative yet. And so I am just going to put my letters down here. It says explore. And... Um, Got a, I got a spell right here. Uh, so I, um, all of the, I can't appar apparently um, create and talk at the same time. Um, I have, will have all of the supplies listed down below in the YouTube description box along with the stencils and all the goodness that um, you might be looking for. And then um, stay tuned for the um, other two videos of us creating and having some fun this week on Saturday and then on Sunday for our regular Sunday inspiration. So let me just kind of tap this off a little bit. Add just a tiny, kind of bring back some of my teal here. That's perfect. Kind of right on over the top of that. I'll probably add a little bit of shading to that once I'm completely done and it's dry. But this is this is it. And um, oh my goodness, I I don't know if you can see. So I added I added this gold, and um, it is, is like these little sparkles. Of, it's so so pretty. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I'll try and get get closer, better pictures. Um, but this is liquid metal. I'm using it a lot in the, in some of my projects <clears throat> recently because for whatever reason, I'm liking gold. Um, so I absolutely love this. I love the pattern in the background. I love how I doubled up the pattern, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with the retro, uh, retro, whatever retro number this one is with the, um, Let's see, retro, I don't know. They're both retro patterns. Uh, I probably have a list here. Retro pattern four and retro pattern six, I believe. Um, but I love how I doubled that up. And again, gold. Uh, having that gold kind of peek through in the background. And then um, the most important thing is just creating your contrast so that your, butter, your beautiful butterfly doesn't get lost in the awesome background. You want that awesome background, but you want to make sure that your focal point stands out. So that is our, our project for today. Check out all the stencils, and um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and stay tuned for tomorrow's um, project, and I will see you soon. <laughs>